Hey guys, I know myself here and today Apple has released iOS 11 beta 8 to register developers. Now if you're a public beta tester, Apple has been pushing these updates a little faster. So by the time you watch this video, you could be seeing iOS 11 uh, beta 7 rolled out to the public beta testing programs. Now as you see here, the download is relatively small. It's only 60 megabytes on the iPhone 7 Plus from beta 7 to beta 8. And if you watch my previous video where I talked about the announcement of the iPhone 8 rumored to be on September the 12th, that can also coincide with the release of iOS 11. So we're about two weeks, three weeks away from iOS 11 officially being rolled out to the public. We could see another beta, maybe beta 9 as the gold master copy. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys the build number just in case uh, you're not sure if you're running the latest build right there. It is 15A5368. A. So that is the current bill number for iOS 11 beta 8. Now it is a minor update and let me go ahead and share with you guys some of the minor things that have changed. Now some of you guys received a new splash screens in iOS 11 beta 7. I received this one in beta 8 for the home application where you manage all your home smart systems. Now one of the minor changes I forgot to mention from beta 7 which is also available in beta 8. If we go to the control center and bring up the music platter you get the Apple music icon right there on your music platter. However if the audio source changes just let's say I'm watching uh, a YouTube video here I click play you see that the audio source will now be YouTube of course and the platter now shows the YouTube icon instead if you're one of the many that don't like the App Store icon it looks like it's here to stay but I wanted to talk about the App Store here quickly because there's some minor changes within the App Store if you go to search for an application in this case let's say YouTube it will show a platter here a representation of the company which is Google the developer you can tap into it it'll give you this really nice clean user interface with all their services and applications in iOS 11 beta 8 that is nowhere to be found unless you typed Google specifically. Now you also notice here up at the top a huge ad. You see this ad up at the top here by Google. If you type YouTube then you get an ad representing the company instead of this platter here. So ads are back into the app store here as you can see and it's changed a little bit there when you go to search. Now what I want to do now is go ahead and run a Geekbench test here. Let's close all applications out. Let's hold the power button and stop everything from running in the background here just to get the best performance out of both devices. We're uh, freeing up the memory here by doing this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run Geekbench here. Although I'm going to have a full video comparison in terms of performance, batteries, and all that. You guys already know that video is coming very shortly, so make sure you subscribe for that. But I'm going to be comparing uh, the Geekbench score test here for you guys. Okay, so it looks like we're almost done here running the test on both devices. And it looks like iOS 11 Beta 7, single core score 3518. Multi-core score 5928. iOS 11 beta 8 comes in a little lower, slightly lower at 3496 on a single core score, which is slightly lower there. And 5878 as well, multi-core score is a little slower. But make sure you stay tuned because tomorrow at the latest, Wednesday, I have a full comparison in terms of performance, battery test, and all that stuff. You guys already know that video is coming your way. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.